suspended Thierry Henry. So David Trezeguet returns to win cap number 70 alongside Nicolas Anelka. Otherwise, it's the same side which drew Milan on Saturday. Mikel Londro continues in goal. First choice, Gregory Coupe is out till December with an injured knee. 4-5-1, knowing the point here will keep them right on track. Alex McLeish makes four changes. Captain Barry Ferguson returns from suspension, and both Saturday's forwards are rested, meaning Everton's James McFadden plays as the lone striker. Not really a role we know him for, Russell Osman. Wonderful. The aggressive play of the Scottish team and the silky smoothness of the French. Wonderful contrasts. Uh, Plout is ready. Away we go at the Parc des Princes. The top two in Group B, France against Scotland. This is a game which could be crucial when the final shake-up comes in a month and a half's time. At uh, St Andrews in the English Premier League, this is uh, Flor Maluda. Maluda into Trezeguet, looks to find Anelka, but it's won by Barry Ferguson. Now Abedal. Maluda peels away left here. Maluda's ball fizzed across and it's knocked away and behind there. That was danger for Scotland. Plenty of blue to find here for the Bayern Munich man. It's Ribéry's cross. And there was pushing, there was shoving. There is a free kick for Scotland. Patrick Vieira before the corner was taken. He just kept his eye on Vieira and pulled up as soon as the challenge was made. And Godley McCulloch. From Wigan now with Glasgow Rangers. Warning shot to France. It's Fletcher's ball in. There's a tumble in the penalty area. And Londro hangs on. David Vieira. Now Franck Ribéry, looks to take on Alexander for pace here, it's Ribéry's ball across and it's knocked away in behind it. It's uh, McManus with a clearance for Scotland. Oh, the fella down. Second French corner, Trezeguet lurking. It's Maluda's ball in, it's headed clear from McCulloch. And the shot from range cutters away off David Weir. Alexander is there. Cotton's header. You've just got to be our first defender tonight. Aluda for Ribéry, trying his luck on this left-hand side now, Ribéry. Comes back here to Tad Makaleli. His ball clipped in. And Trezeguet on the turn, couldn't connect properly. Good opportunity. He was a little bit unlucky, he didn't make contact, it's a good run. And man is just getting off him a little bit. Makaleli now for France. Chelsea for Chelsea, it's Maluda! And Gordon behind it. Shot from that distance to beat Craig Gordon in the Scottish goal. Just needs to get a little bit closer, but you can see that solid five men. And against Lithuania being held by uh, Escudé as well. Well, the referee, <laughs> you see this time and time again. The referee should leave it and then blow for the foul once the ball's in play. Not beforehand. McFadden's ball in, hits the first defender, Makaleli, and it will be a corner. About six yards away by the time the kick was taken. Ram on for Makaleli. Now for Maluda. Drops the shoulder and it's ball to Abidal. Back for Maluda here. It's Maluda's ball across the face, and Ribéry can't connect properly. And Craig Gordon has it. Mm, good the scare there for Scotland. Fantastic cutback from the dead ball line. How it evaded the three Scottish defenders and then suddenly just arrived at Ribery's feet, catching it by surprise. Defenders, how do you get the, the ball to the Scottish lone striker? Here's Maluda trying to pick away through, trying to unlock that Scottish defence. It's Frank Ribery, it's just wide. Zone in front of the goal, well, Scotland, and France possibly going to be a little bit more patient and try and work it down the flanks a bit more. Maluda's corner, easy take there for Craig Gordon at waist height. Interesting just watching Maluda take that corner, he's looking for players and as if to say, well, you make the move and I'll try and pick you out, whereas most teams say, listen, you know, the set pieces, you just put it in the area and we'll attack that, that, that zone for you. Maluda's corner, in swinger this time, Vieira there and... Gordon with a good punch, it's Makaleli who's never scored for France and he maintains that record yeah, he's not known for scoring uh, with volleys from outside the 18-yard box Makaleli 
Patrick Vieira is the target man, just about on every corner, on every set piece. Good punch. Yeah, this is good goalkeeper Craig Gordon. Nice ball in, it's looping in it. And the end was a cross which almost became a whole lot more, but I'm sure Gordon had it covered. And I think he just had to keep an eye on it. If you just anything can happen in a situation like that, you try to defend it, ball can bounce anywhere. Gregory's corner, Maluda. This was the last touch, despite the appeal. We got a decent header on that Maluda, just good defending, just kept him from being able to get the header on target. Matt, second spell with the Ibrox club. McFadden. McFadden still does well here. McFadden! And Londro there with his first save of the night had to hang on as well. Yeah, that'll be neat and tidy here, Londro. Tricky ball in that six yard box. Danger. At the end of the first half of the Parc des Princes, Flor Maluda. It's Maluda's shot, which is really shifting, blocked away. And there is the half-time whistle, so halfway in. And so far, so good for Scotland, who have come here to defend, and they would won at front, but as far as going OK. Yeah, it's going very well for them. They've, they've defended well, they've defended. Haven't found a way through yet. And Alex McLeish's decision to switch to a 4-5-1 system here and sit back and defend as thus far. And where we go then for the second 45 minutes here at the Parc des Princes. Nil-nil between France and Scotland. Again. Maluda. And now to Jink inside here, the Chelsea man, his cross. And arriving at the far post there was David Tresegate. Anelka. Ribéry. Tresegay, Ribéry, turned away by the goalkeeper in this. Ribéry again with a second chance, which he doesn't take. He should have scored, should have scored. Great save from Craig Gordon as far as Scotland are concerned, but once you get in here on your right foot, he's gone, he's gone for the near post. I think he's trying to sell the goalkeeper a bit of a dummy, shaping to go on the far side of the goal. But Craig Gordon stood strong and... Stayed on his feet till the last minute. Did he miss kick it? Ribéry and now Vieira and Lasana Diara. Diara's ball. This is Ribéry. This is a chance. That's a wonderful save by Craig Gordon. Terrific save in the Scotland goal. That was every inch 1 0 France, but for Craig Gordon here. Fantastic run. Ribéry cutting the ball back to the penalty spot. It's a great finish, but still shouldn't have seen it. Still the pressure comes, but Nicholas Anelka died, denied by a terrific save here. I think Anelka will be saying that it's a poor finish from him. Straight above the goalkeeper's head, anything in the bottom corner, Gordon won't touch. Stephen Pearson plays the one-two here. It's Stephen Pearson for Scotland! And two French defenders come across, and the chance was gone. Good powerful run from Pearson. Craig Gordon away. And you see France using the flanks. Oh, McFadden! Magnificent goal for Scotland! James McFadden with a goal as good as the one he scored at the weekend. But this one means so, so much more. <laughs> Pick that one out. Whatever goalkeeper you are... You aren't going to stop that. When somebody just spins and it hits it from 35 yards like that, that is an unbelievable strike. As a first opportunity, I think, he's had to even look at goal tonight. And he has exploded a shot of sheer quality. His third goal in qualifying, his second of the week, and that sends 20,000 Scots into delirium. Look at this. Bang! Well, excuse me, he didn't even have a look at goal. Just turned on the ball and thumped it. Well, Mick Londra may well think he should have done better there, the goalkeeper, but you know what? Scotland don't care. James McFadden with a massive goal in qualification. Ara. Ribéry. Ribéry's cross. Or oh. oh, mix up here. Hutton has to clear. It's a challenge. Got to get a little bit closer to the cross of the ball in those wide areas. 
Good challenge again there by Alan Hutton. Concentration, the buzzwords now for Scotland. Maluda's corner, Trezeguet is in there. This is from Ribéry. Well, there goes your aerial threat on set pieces. Now this boy's good, last year's Young Player of the Year in the French League. Maluda's corner, Gordon comes, a rather nervy punch away, might drop here to Ribéry. Ribéry still. There's the cross, Escudé's in there, Trezeguet's in there, Maluda tries to volley the ball back in there. On big six-footer, only 19. Fourth cap for him, Eric Abedal is sacrificed, a defender for a striker, which tells you the French team's predicament here. Uh, McCulloch might fancy a bang here, it is McCulloch! And Ribéry. And Nelka. Cross just stood up there, the header is loose, it comes here to Franck Ribéry, buys time, makes time, shoots, deflection wide. But the, the block, the deflection, could have gone anywhere, Craig Gordon was going to his, his right. Here now for Maluda, it's Maluda's cross, Alexander with a free header away, drops though here to Lasana Diara, it's Diara for Ribéry, it's Ribéry's ball across, deflection, and it's taken by Gordon. It had just crossed the line though, I think. Ooh, yeah, well, clipped in there. Now Diara, a bit of room now to work the crossing chance for Lasana Diara. His ball fizzed in and Craig Gordon is there to hang on. Along with that? Yeah. Yeah, I think from where, where Scotland have been to where they suddenly find themselves now. But here's an Ilka meanwhile. And Benzema takes over and fires wide. Even got away with it, this is the danger man. Good advantage by the referee. Little header down towards Trezegate, comes out to Nicholas Anelka. Now Karim Benzema. Takes on Brown, beats Brown. Hutton backs up now, it's Benzema's pullback for Sami Nasri! And again, clean take from the goalkeeper, Gordon. Good play from Benzema, working it right on the touchline. Very tidy from Craig Gordon in the Scottish goal. And this possible last set piece. Ribéry's ball in, and it's half away from Pearson, driven back in, there's a shout for handball, deflected away, comes out to Nasri. Now Diara and Ribéry. Nonchal pass. No corner was there, it's... Ribéry's corner. And the header is turned away. It was Benzema in the... I think he wants handball. It's just hit the body of McCulloch. Another corner. Ribéry's ball in this time up in the air and away and there's the full-time whistle it's a night for Scottish heroes lightning has struck twice a second one will win over France the winning goal this time